Hi there, my name is Kelsey, and today we are going to be talking about going green for heart health and the importance of including green leafy vegetables in your diet for a healthy heart. So today we're going to talk about just some blood vessel basics, what nitrate is, nitrate and how that relates to heart health, food sources of nitrate, plants versus animal sources, uh, how much you want to consume, and then four ways to make it happen. So first, let's talk a little bit about blood vessels. So think of blood vessels as highways that tr blood travels from our heart to all the different parts of the body and then back, taking oxygen and nutrients. So when we talk about blood pressure, blood pressure is a measure of how much pressure is exerted on the walls of those blood vessels, and it can be an indicator for chronic disease. So one really important compound in the health of our blood vessels is called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide helps blood vessels to dilate or to widen, which allows blood pressure to decrease and more blood can flow through. Uh, and then it also helps to keep the muscle of the blood vessels healthy, and this can help to prevent atherosclerosis. So if nitric oxide is what can help lower blood pressure, then what exactly is nitrate? Well, nitrate is a compound that's found in foods. Um, and so when we eat nitrate, it is converted into nitrite by bacteria in our mouth and our stomach. And then once it's in our blood and our tissues, it's then converted into nitric oxide, which can help to decrease blood pressure by allowing blood vessels to dilate. So how does nitrate relate to heart health? Well, if our blood pressure is too high, our heart has to work really hard to pump blood throughout the body. So because of this, we should aim to eat, keep our blood pressure within normal limits. And one way to do that is through consuming foods that contain nitrate. So if you see here on this chart, a normal blood pressure is 120 over 80 or lower. So food sources of nitrate. So there are kind of three different categories of foods that contain nitrate. The first is green leafy vegetables. Second is cruciferous vegetables. And then third is meat products. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So green leafy vegetables include foods like lettuce, spinach, Swiss chard, arugula, and then cruciferous vegetables include kale, cabbage, broccoli, so you may have heard some confusing information about the possibility of nitrates causing cancer. Well, this is only in the context of nitrates found in meat as an added preservative. Well, how is it possible that a similar compound found in one food can be really healthy for our heart when found in another food can actually be harmful? I want you to think of foods as a package. So if you take a handful of spinach or a slice of deli meat, they don't just contain one nutrient. It's a whole package of many nutrients that comes in the food. And so the secret here is that plants that contain nitrate come with a really great package of also fiber, protein, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. And these good things help to prevent the nitrate from causing disease. If you take some deli meat, on the other hand, its package that it comes with is things like saturated fat, cholesterol, heme iron, hormones, and other compounds that can react with the nitrate and cause it to become carcinogenic and increase our risk of disease. So the take home here is to choose food sources of nitrate that are from plants and not from animals. So just how much should you eat in a day to get a good amount of nitrate? Well, if you look at the daily dozen, the recommendation is to eat two servings of leafy greens per day and one serving of cruciferous vegetables per day. Well, how much is one serving? If we're talking about fresh vegetables that have not been cooked, one cup counts as one serving. And if we're talking about vegetables that have been cooked, then a half a cup counts as one serving. So here are four ways to help you to incorporate more green leafy vegetables into your diet. So first, you could try eating a really big salad for lunch with different types of greens in it. So it could have lettuce, spinach, and arugula. 
You could also try making roasted vegetables for dinner with kale and broccoli. You could try layering your sandwiches with extra romaine lettuce to give it that crunch. And you could also freeze spinach or chard and add it into smoothies. And this is my favorite sneaky way of adding in more leafy greens. And that is it for today on Nitrates and Heart Health. Thank you so much for watching.